Okay, I think we are alive. Alive. Once more. So I've been busy just getting all my junk ready for the tutorial and stuff. So I haven't had a chance to work on my little silly exercises like this trash truck. So, here we are, let's do some trash truck, or I don't know, do you call it garbage truck? What's the proper term? Sanitation truck? No? I don't know. But this thing is pretty fun, I'm really, I, I love trash garbage trucks. Uh, I know my, my friends, uh, my friend Joe, his like five-year-old son really loves garbage trucks too and I don't know if that means I have the brain of a toddler but um I don't know also today we're gonna be using Q blocker which is a pretty sexy little um, add-on right here so I'm gonna be demoing this a little bit it's free and it's pretty sweet because we can do stuff like making cylinders here. Oh man, come on. Why doesn't Blender just do this automatically? It's so nice. All right, but back to business here. We are making a door handle. Very exciting, cutting edge stuff here, guys. Um, So how about this? How about we just cut this one down with a knife? I really wish knife tool would work in uh, perspective in terms of locking to Z, Z plane or whatever. That would be nice. Um, hey Recrunt, hello Navidad, welcome, welcome. Hello Sina. Is this sound okay guys? We working all right? Hey Lloyd, yeah, I've, I've tried Hard Ops and Box Cutter, and they are awesome as well. I think this this Q, Q blocker thing is pretty similar actually, so um, basically it's, I think it's the same type of idea, like it's just the ability to draw out shapes with your mouse, which I mean, it's a pretty simple thing, but so, so useful, so useful. I really wish that this was just Blender default um, primitives. And I remember Moto kind of works this way as well. It's just faster to be able to draw it out. Okay, so we got a little, what is this? Oh, all right, let's use the cuber again, uh, or cube blocker, sorry. So, this goes down like that. I wrote him an email. Fuck. <laughs> I wrote him an email just with some suggestions, I think. Because it's really cool. It's a couple tiny things that I would like to see, like 2D shapes. Like if you were in side view and you draw something out, it would be nice if it was... Um, a 2d shape here but it's not it's actually 3d always 3d um, hmm. but either way this this is an extremely cool tool by the way if you want to check this tool out look up this guy on Twitter this is why I love Twitter now like I, I never understood Twitter but it seems like all the all the uh, programmers seem to like hanging out on Twitter and then they pop up with this kind of stuff. So it's it's really nice. He's released it for free and I, I you know, paid a little bit for it to, just to support, but the tool is really cool. It, it's got a lot of thought into it. And hey, Altahami, yeah, we're using Q blocker right now. So, for example, if we're 
I have it here on my add menu and you can just draw some whoa what the hell that's a little bit weird I guess hmm. you could draw cylinders very easily and they always draw according to the normals of whatever else you've got going on which is pretty nice that's a bit strange there we go I don't know why I would want a million cylinders everywhere like this, but it is cool that we can do it. Where did that other cylinder I drew that disappeared into outer space? And there's also options like all these options down here, like, uh, let's see, hold F to snap segments. I don't know what that means. There's D for shading modes. You can do flat shading, soft shading. Hold S for segments. I wrote him a note saying that it's kind of weird that when you change your segments, it also changes the size of the thing. I think, I feel like it should, like when you're changing the segments, it should not, it should lock the size just so you can do them independently. But he seems like a nice guy. He, he, did, he wasn't defended by my suggestions, so maybe we'll, we'll see some some new stuff from him soon. Anyway, exciting stuff. Anything to do with really basic, anything that improves primitives is huge because this is, you know, 90% of our stuff starts with a little cube or a little cylinder. And if you can make that process faster or better, then it's that's a huge impact that's like big bang for your buck um, in terms of like any work that goes into improving that stuff is very impactful for modeling so I'm glad that somebody's I mean yeah that's why box cutter and hard ops is so good because this kind of really basic primitive stuff if you can streamline it that's big so I'm glad to see more stuff that's like similar to box cutter or box cutter itself getting enhancements. I need to do a box cutter video, even though I'm like kind of a noob with it, <laughs> but that would be cool. Box cutter. And also Jerry Perkins is amazing. He's like some sort of pizza wizard genius. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I like his, his, uh, his style, style of operation. How's the sound guys? Is the music too loud or is it okay? I hope this music doesn't get the video blocked. It's coming from uh, Beeple, or somebody inspired by Beeple, I guess, made all these everyday songs. The other thing that would be nice is if this worked in uh, edit mode. So right now I think the cube blocker only works in in object mode so that's because I like to do stuff in edit mode and for me like for my primitives I just have it so that whatever you have selected you go shift a and then and then your primitive is added onto that selection so that's my way of doing it I don't think my way is as as nice as these these other guys but at least this way does work in edit mode, which is nice. I think our hard ops also works in edit mode. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go over here, probably. Why isn't this snapping? Where'd you go? What? There we go. Okay, let's let's do 
uh, a handle, probably. How about we just grab two from the middle and uh, shift D to duplicate, F, bevel. What the hell kind of bevel is that? It means our scale is not correct. So I just reset the scale on this. Now we got our regular bevels. Okay. Now this goes in here. There we go. Control Shift D, quick pipe. Here we are. Oh, I left behind the old one too. Gotta get rid of that. Maybe we need some uh, some extra drawings here. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw in the the door cut here. Goes over here. Goes down here. Goes down. Actually, that goes pretty low. needs to be in front of everybody. I'm just using shift space to extrude stuff here. Control J. Okay, I think that's the general idea. We've got cut line. And then These cutters are a little bit wonky. Let's move this. This is the the joy of uh, live booleans. We can just move these cuts around, and it's no big deal. So nice. Um, wow, my proportions are really screwed up here. What did I do wrong? This is way too narrow. But again, we got our lovely live booleans, so we can just everything and change it a little bit bringing my cutters along probably should have brought this along too and this cutter here needs some some love I think this is a little tiny bit rounded this is a lot rounded and what the hell Okay, this cut is way too low. I love that you can move the cutter and the, the other stuff at the same time. Way too high, I meant. I don't know what this is. Okay, so we got this thing now. Let's hit P to separate it off. And just extrude it a bit. All right, this one into this one. Let's do a live cut line here. And I'm going to go in and adjust the cut line a little bit, make it thinner. This thing has some thickness to it, doesn't it? I think it does. Should probably be a little bit thicker. There we go. Hey, it's Joshua Carter. I love your work, man. I see your your shifty shady eyeballs right there. Welcome. Welcome to the stream of an artist that is not as good 
as Joshua Carter. Carter. <laughs> Okay, so this little head lip thing is kind of ends right there. This is such an awkward intersection with rubber going into like a spike. Um, let's see, it probably stops around here. No, wait. Oh, I think there's something wrong here. <laughs> there's always something wrong. Damn it. Yeah, guys, we got a celebrity in here, Joshua Cotter. Make him feel awkward. That's what celebrities like. They they like to be made to feel awkward and unhuman. That's what we must do. No, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, that's that's strange. Uh, how? Hmm. Well, now I feel awkward. I'm... I'm no hero. <laughs> I'm just... a nerd... on the internet. Wait, what is this? What? But yeah, man, that... The, those pieces you've been doing are crazy. They're so detailed. And there's... It's all... Sub D2, that's a lot of work. <laughs> like, I think you've got more patience than than anybody to do all that stuff. It's crazy. Okay, how about this, this, Alt Z, all the way around. Okay, now we can extrude these guys make that silly lip get rid of that possibly bevel okay a little bit janky but oh this this door is not that tall <laughs> shit okay let's try this multi-object editing that they they keep bragging about in 2.8 does this will this save the day here actually yeah that's not too bad <clears throat> all right now this window's comically short That never gets old. Oh, wait, what did I? What did I do? Did I screw this up? Why is there two of them? Oh, are these mirrored? Why are these mirrored? <laughs> I'm. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. By my tutorial, I don't know. I have no clue. There. Okay, now this is wrong. It's like a chain reaction of mistakes. Everything I've done was a mistake. Okay. I think that's better now. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Prump. Prumpity dumpity. Um, oh yeah, by the way, guys, we're working on this trash truck today because I have the mind of a five-year-old. But also, we're looking at this little add-on that I found. It is free. Don't worry, I just saved. Um, it's free. 
I donated a little bit because I really like this idea of um, just having better primitives in Blender. Anything to deal with very, very basic primitive stuff is a huge impact on modeling because everything starts with a cube or a cylinder or something like that. So if we can improve that, then we improve the entire process. So, And the way it works is it's actually kind of similar to box cutter and hard ops in that you can draw out shapes. But, you know, a lot of 3D software has this as the de default. And I mean, it's sort of a basic feature that would be awesome for Blender to have eventually. So that's it. You just, you can make stuff, you can make cylinders, you can change their smoothness on the fly. Although I think that this behavior of it changing size and smoothness at the same time is a little bit wonky. But um, yeah, it's a good start. And I'm glad to see it. This is the good stuff that we need. And then I have my little ghetto version of that, which is just making small cubes <laughs> at uh, your selection, which is okay. This works okay. It's fine for now. This has a solidify on it, which we gotta get rid of. Actually, although it's kind of nice that it makes that. Hmm, maybe I'll keep that. Kind of makes like an auto trim right there. Interesting. Only problem is I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Maybe I should get rid of it. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Oh, this has a lot of stuff. Let's mirror it. Probably need um, something like that. Maybe it'd be good to have like a bevel here so that it catches some light at some point in the future. Oops. NP station also does that. Okay. Cool. Hello, brush runner. Welcome. Do, 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 do. See, like, it took me five steps to get this cube here. <laughs> it should only be, it should be instant. Like, you don't even have to think about it. Oh no, what's happening? Oh no, I thought I got rid of that bug. Damn it. Shite. Huh, it only works, only happens with newly created geometry or, or geometry created from the object. object mode, that's weird. Oh, that looks nicer. Why have I been modeling in ugly mode? This is much nicer. Let's say a uh, new slot. Give us the gray. Give us a gray. There we are. I 
think this this guy ends about here. Um, what else is there? There's a lot of extra crap over here. This may be a good use for the Q blocker thingamajigger. Let's see. Let's make some crap here. What? See, in, in top, in ortho view, it doesn't work that well. Hmm. 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 I think I might just go with my regular tools here. Eh? So this looks like a little metal sandwich, right? What is going on there? Or is it sideways? I think it might be sideways. Okay. Let's draw this out. I think this will be fun. It looks like there's a couple. Maybe I can do it like this with a couple loop cuts, bevel, delete. And then <coughs> it looks like this one. one right here does a little L shape I think and the rest I think it's fine how it is there's a little bit of an angle happening right here okay and then all these guys need some bevel action. Oh wait, let me. Oh, shit. Control X to make that all one piece. Because actually, bevels work better when they're all together as one piece. Do 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 do. Okay. Okay. All of this stuff. Let's grab everything. B S. There we go. And let's go mirror. Is this working? Yes. That new bisect mirror is pretty sweet actually. I'm I'm becoming a fan slowly. Slowly but surely. Because it means that you can overlap through the center and not have any issues here. See? pretty clean alright so this is actually much narrower it's almost like a sheet of paper um, bo -bo 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 -bo. hey transmit this yes we were just uh, playing with the Q, Q blocker it's pretty cool How, where is it Q blocker I was, I've just been talking about it during the stream and yeah it's it's his first time releasing it and it's free and it works kinda so I'm excited I think it's pretty cool very nice okay so this one is done and then I'm gonna make a copy for the other side and then there's some other crap that goes on top um, let's see, duplicate this, P to separate it. I like to reuse, reuse stuff too. That's also a good strategy, I think, it's to make things line up. And then here, so I can reuse this side and go like that, go like this, extrude this out. That looks good. And also we could probably get this separated, join it back onto this one just so we get the auto mirror. And also, you know, at this point I realize I've been stupid, so let me 
select flat y. OK, now all these together need to be solidified. So I'm going to just add a modifier instead so I don't have to deal with that, that uh, thickening process again. Oh, shoot, now, now this needs. OK, so I need to link this one to this one, I guess. So mm, I'll just Alt-D to duplicate there again. OK, now they both have thickness. Um, hey, P, anyone use tablet with Blender? Yes, I'm using a tablet right now. And it's awesome. How do you add more edge to smooth the bevel? You press S. So you grab it and then S. B and then S. And that's how you use the tablet. Um, boop, boop, boop. Wait, what is this? I forget what that was. What happened to my music? Is it actually all done? Does he have any more music? Can we have a little bit more music, please? I guess we could just listen to it again. I haven't heard this that much yet. Hmm. This is super low. Probably. Okay, how can we make this little L shape? I think probably the easiest way is um, yeah, you rotate it like this, dig it in. This probably should be over here. Grab these two, Control Shift B, and we're done. Well, not really, because that looks like crap. I think this needs to be out here. Damn it. Uh, let me see. Bridge. Ah, that looks like crap. There, okay. I'm pressing D to bring up the tool options, the last tool options, I guess. So that one's really handy for anything you have to adjust. You just go D. Okay, and then this has like a bracket or a little extra trim here, and then it's just pure pipage, right? So, like this. Looks like these come out at an angle too. So, if I set the center to, oops, to here separate this thing now what happens if I mirror it where's my mirror can you turn on please ah what am I doing shift x live mirror local oh there we go that did it. And then I need some pipage here, so I'm gonna add a little curve. Oops. Man, I really wish this worked better. I'm just going to do quick pipe again. I'm just drawing out a couple points here for where I want the curve to go. Something like that. P. Oh, wait, no, not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Recover autosave, please. Oh no. No. Uh. 
my heart. It hurts. It hurts. Oh well. I tried. I tried. I tried. Damn it. Mother sucker. Um. No, we gotta keep on trucking, guys. Gotta keep on trucking. There's trash to deliver. They're kind of like... Tr um, trash guys are kind of like Santa Claus. They have to go and see everybody every week and... With their, with their sleigh. And I guess instead of delivering... S um, sacks of presents, they, they take sacks of trash. But each... I would say actually taking the sacks of trash is way more important than delivering sacks of presents to children. Um, yeah, it's a billion times more important, so these guys are way ahead of Santa Claus, in my opinion. Um, uh, Joshua is using foot pedals and levers. Cool. How many pedals do you have? Is it like piano pedals or gas pedals? I use a I use a Logitech um, racing wheel to do Blender actually when I'm feeling feisty. Oh my god! Let me drink some water here. Let me see. Oh, I know. Let's go into. Um, walkthrough mode five is it walk yes walk oh shit i love walk mode oh shoot i'm i'm too tall here oh wait how do we turn on gravity g okay wait no actually this seems no i'm a little bit short now i feel a little bit short let's make this bigger how do I do the walkthrough thing again? G. How do you jump again? V. Oh yeah, I'm short. I, I have no... I have no vert. Let's try that one more time. Wait, can I make this look cooler? Hmm. Mm. No, I think I... Uh, that's too shiny. This is also too... I don't know which one's the best one. I guess it's this one. EFG. Sniff the butt. Oh, I went too far. This works so well. Climb on stuff. Jump on the. Let me jump on this. Can you increase or do? Oh. Doink. I wonder if we could make a, a game if you add in a couple planes. Let's see. Where'd it go? Oh, everything's just too bright. Would this work? How far can we jump? Gee. Oh, I feel really short now. Oh wait, spacebar is teleport. V is jump. Hold on, let me change this back. I forgot, I don't know what the new hotkey for this is. Here. 
soft shadows are killing me. There we go. Walk. G. B. Oh, I'm too fast. This is a piece of cake. I don't even have to jump. Oh, it's too easy. Oh. Hmm. I think I need a bigger jump. What happens if we go over here? How big is this plane? Holy crap. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Anyway. Uh. What else can we do? It's kind of cool. I love this flat look. It's so cool. What's the difference between like what what kind of calculation is going on here? I feel like this, the screen always looks kind of funky. Oh, actually that looks nice. looks a little bit softer and like more realistic I feel like then the screen one is cool too it gets it looks more graphic hmm it's pretty convincing maybe I'll model like this I like how clean the shadows are too it's a lot cleaner than regular shadows. Hmm. Mm. Does the cube blocker has been updated on today's config? Um, no, it's a, it's you have to go get it. It's on Gumroad. It's free though. So just look for um, this guy, Gumroad slash L slash G O E V. It's pretty cool. So this guy's just like making it for fun and it's free. And then he's on uh, Twitter too. Let's see what else he's up to. Okay, I don't know what this guy is. Let's stalk him. Let's follow him. Oh, he, I'm already following him. What is this? Oh, here's his demo. Still haven't got used to the snapping system of it, though. It's kind of crazy. <sighs> we got some thunder today. It's pretty... Man, I feel like I haven't heard thunder in years. It's so weird. make some doodads here. I, I just want to shut off my brain for a little bit and forget that I lost all my work. I 
Have you guys been using 2.8? And has it been pretty stable for you? I feel like 2.8 has been relatively good for me. I don't know. So, it was crashing a lot more when uh, in the alpha. It seems to have calmed down a little bit. What's going on here? More junk. This is the this is the Febreze canister that they spray on the trash when it comes in, so it doesn't smell that bad. I wonder if these guys do they like lo lose their sense of smell or what happens? What are the physiological effects of of being around trash all day? I don't know how detailed I should be getting with this thing. <laughs> like, I, th I thought this was going to be just a rough... I mean, it is kind of rough, but... Should I calm down on the details? Maybe I should calm down. Oh, and there's a pretty big uh, flat area down there, too. says they have a biological predisposition to trash so they evolved to be more equipped to handle trash smells. Uh-huh. But does that change your sense of smell? Does it make it so that things smell sweeter or funkier? Or... That's a dumb question. I need to stop asking all these dumb questions. Just keep it to myself. It's a square cut. A square type cut. A square type trapezoidal cut. A square type trapezoidal beveled cut. should probably be on its own separate thing. This is not doesn't have to deal with all this extra crap here. Let's get rid of that. So if so if the human nose is adaptable. So when you get used to the smell then what happens? What does it smell like? It just smells like uh, roses or what is it? change because I like if if our eye if we look at something really if we're in the dark then we can 
see things brighter, which means like it amplifies our eyesight when there's not enough information. So if there's too much smell and it's overwhelming, does that mean our nostrils like close up and we get less smell coming in? Okay, yeah. Wish I wish I had some garbage garbage men friends. I don't have my friend group is not very diverse. Do you think of layers in 2.8? I think they're good. They're a good step. They're they're there's they need some more work. But they are useful. It smells like the inside of your Oh man. Steaming hot fresh trash. Same with skin. Man, how do you know so much stuff, v Vikrant? You always got, like, you always got some knowledge to drop. You Are you like a librarian or something? It's amazing. The one thing about collections that's weird, I don't know if they fixed this recently, but you know what? I'm going to use this as a chance to bring up my tutorial again. Funny you ask, because here, let's say we're in the tutorial land and uh, what are we doing? And let's say we want to only have or let's say we want to hide the ship prototype like the first one and only see the the collection the instances so if i hide it it's hidden right in the viewport but and it's um still the instances are still visible which makes sense this, these these other ones are all instances right wait where are they yeah, this is an instance. This is an instance. Yeah, they're all instances. But when I render, let's see what happens when I render. Did they fix this? If they fix this, then I'm going to look like an idiot. That just complains for no reason. Oh, they fixed it. Yeah, they... Oh, wait. No, they, no, they didn't. They didn't. Okay, so so th this ship is invisible in the viewport, but it is visible in the render, which means um, I guess what I would have to do is hide the ship in the in the render, right? So hide the ship in the render, but then when if I hide the ship in the render and I try to render it, it hides all the instances of the ship as well. Which uh, is not very useful. So how are we supposed to set this up properly, is my question. But the only way I found to do it is to you have to put the ship, the original ship, into a, another collection so that the ship has rendering on, but then the collection itself is turned off for rendering. So the collection that holds the ship collection, which holds all the ship stuff, I don't. It's it's weird. I don't, what what is this eyeball for then? Why wouldn't the eyeball? I, so now I think it will. Yeah, it hides the the original ship, but it, then it shows the the instances, but. Why the hell wouldn't it work like... 
like this. If 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 I hide the ship, then the the ship instances stay visible because they are on render mode. I don't get it. If you don't want these to show up, then you turn them off, right? Does that make sense, guys? Am I doing this wrong? I might be doing this the, the totally wrong way, but that's how I feel like it should work. And the other thing with, with collections that would be nice is if you press M and let's say you make a new collection, ASD, enter, enter. It should, let's say enter once or enter twice should automatically do it. I, I don't like that we have to go and click the button. It's an extra click. Um, Exactly. Why? What's the point of instances if they're not independent in terms of like visibility? They're they're still like it takes away the flexibility of these this button. <laughs> What's the point of having that button there if it doesn't? By the way, buy my buy my tutorial, guys. Just kidding. Don't buy it. It's trash. Ah, God. Okay. How do you create a pipe from an edge? Uh, that's a plugin by um, Jeremy Mitchell, which lets you, um, if you have some edges selected, you just go Control Shift D. It's called Quick Pipe, and it lets you make a pipe. And we can adjust the thickness here, change the smoothness, do all that. Have you had any issues with your cursor not staying in the viewport while you? do an operation when I scale my cursor doesn't loop in the viewport anymore uh, let me try s oh yeah it doesn't loop how do we get that to work it's probably an option somewhere for cursor looping interface Corner splitting. where is it does anybody know where that option is Cursor loop. Oh. oh, it should be in here, right? Cursor lock adjust. Place the cursor without jumping to the left. No. Input. Is it in here? Come on guys, where the hell is it? Navigation? Where is it? Okay, well. Um, I don't see it. I'm talking about what, what Spencer's saying here, where the cursor does not loop when you're doing a scale or something oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god I like whatever this thing is. I'm not sure what the shape is, but um, I will try. I will attempt. What is this? I'm gonna try to draw it out in like wire form first. Let's see if we can get that going. I wish this album was longer. It's like. 
20 minutes or so. It's pretty short. Mm, what what is that? It's like a S shape and then there's a I think it's going up here. There we are. There's the mirror. I'm, I'm very confused by this shape. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. I'm just gonna guess. I'm going to guess. Maybe there's a bar that goes across, possibly. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Okay, like that. I wonder if we do, let's try, Um. let's save this first. Let's kill this. Let's try skin. Alt S, no. Alt A, Alt A, Control A, sorry, Control A. And then what? There's a cube over here. I'm going to separate this and kill this skin. Because this is just a regular cube. And then this one. this model getting too involved now? I don't even know if I'm having fun anymore. Is it? Is it fun? Maybe if I add more pipes it'll be fun. Let's try it. Extrude all of the these faces here. Make sure they're all nice and flat. Get some trim action. Beveling. Now we're gonna add in a quick pipe. What the quick pipe does gonna make everything nice and smooth and round. We're gonna mix it up, stir it up nice and soft. Right now it's all blocky, but don't worry. Be nice and soft. Just a moment. Hold your horses. Um, okay, now we're going to duplicate that. Bring it over to this side. Make sure we create a li little bit of variation. That way it's not too boring, you know. I want to make them too similar. And this way we can have some make it look look a bit more lively. And I like the the uh these pipes are kind of like the uh intestines of the vehicle. So they're I think the most org organic part of the vehicle. And so I like to uh, try to, to pay a lot of attention to them, make them nice. Sure. 
and it looks like they're all um, coming up into some sort of uh, control panel in the center. So maybe maybe I can try to reflect that here. They're gonna all come together as one one love right here. Line them up. Everybody equally, okay. Probably not too equal though, cause cause then it looks, it's not gonna look too robotic that way. Um, okay. This can go here. This can go here. All right. I think this is going to be all right. Let's try it out. Let's select all of these. Save. Remember, everybody, save your work. I'm gonna have no more damn crashes for today, otherwise I'm I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Now now we're gonna go control shift D, quick pipe, and bring it down about there or so. I'm using my little little um properties pie here to make this smaller. Let's let's try like point point zero two. I think that looks good. And then we can hit tab. This is a new feature, actually. Um, I haven't. I've been wishing for this for for a long time, and I'm very glad that they uh, added this in. We can now subdivide curves. Very very nice. And that means we can bring the smoothness way down as well. Because the smoothness is is going to come from the the subsurf over here. So we don't have to rely on smoothness from the curve itself. Okay, and this is great because, I mean, we can just drag these around and they're all good to go. Okay, good. Excellent. Now I'm gonna try to add in that uh, L shape once more. This time I hope it doesn't crash. We'll see. Uh, eh. By the power of Ton, I request you don't crash, please. Do not crash. Is this right? Is this good? Remember, D brings up the uh, previous tool settings. We can change the, the smoothness and make it a little bit re relaxed there. It's a little too... Uh, let's try it again. Control shift B. Okay. Uh, can go here. Probably. Eh, eh. This is the dumb way to do it, but it's okay. I think that works. Hey, Jonathan, this is a uh, GTX ten seventy. Uh, yes, GTX 1070. Do do. What what uh, has any been run? Anyone been running EV with a with a 1060 or a 1050? Well, shit. Well, CPU doesn't really matter for this, so uh, it's just an i7. Actually, wait, what is this? It's a 5930K, but any i7 will probably get the same performance, pretty much. Nine seventy. That should work pretty good, right? Still, 
it's still a 70 series, which is similar, right? Okay. Save this one. 670. All right. Yeah, I like how they pay attention to, like, all... They don't just abandon older hardware. They, they keep up to date with the drivers and everything. Or I don't know what they did. They, they're tr like, they make sure that EV works for everybody, which is nice. Oh, there's a little wing nut here. That's what it was. Cute little wing nut. Let me separate this. Boink, 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 boink. put a dude in there I like his uh, neon green let's see new okay That never gets old. I don't do that many uh, polygon people, but actually, um, Darren's been doing really good <laughs> poly people, so I'll say this is inspired by Darren. Look, Ma, no wireframe. Let's see, new. This could be like, uh, let me save this. I always get nervous around materials. I always feel like they're gonna crash. Let's give him some subsurface. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. Yeah. Duplicate this. Give this brown color and let's see. to your eyebrows, dude. He okay. Okay, 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 okay. And he's got some like gray stripes on his uniform. Uh do chrome? Yeah, let's say they're chrome. Let's chrome him out. This is kind of fun. Gotta say.
this may be too complicated, probably, for uh, poly people. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe. Should he have opposable thumbs? the hell going on there oh shit This is horrible. This is the worst thing I've done so far, actually. Well, maybe not. Uh, there. Good enough. This floor is too bright. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, they kind of do look like they they are very organic. Pipes are the most organic of mechanical things probably. Okay, let's see. Modeling is bothersome. Yes, it is. Modeling is bother. That's a perfect description of modeling. This looks like the kind of truck that Cookie Monster would drive. Right, right. Oh, yeah, because it's all blue. That makes sense. Uh, I have an ATI card, and I have no idea. I got antimatter CPU. Hmm. What happened to my voice? Oh God, I don't know exactly what what you're uh, talking about. Pico drive through. I don't know what you're referring to. I think my voice is fine. <clears throat> See, Blurth says, "Can you bubble?" My accent sucks. Can you bubble a vertus and not a face? Well, let's try it. Can can we bevel a vertus vertice? I think we can. I think we can do it. We have we have the technology. Come on guys, just try it. Can you please try it? Press the button. It's not that hard. Press the buttons. Um, boop, 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 boop. We can go like this. We can go like that. We can go like that. We can go here. Get a boop bevel going. And we can go over here. We can go down here. Get a live subtract. Now we got a, a nice little cross section going here. Do that again over here. Double subtract. Another cross section. What else could we do? Let's get this guy over here, duplicate him. Control B apply. Now we've got an applied Boolean. Looks like a, some kind of a mechanical sumo wrestler underwear. And now we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna go live subtract once more. Or maybe we could do a uh, 
live intersect see what happens <clears throat> okay what about this let's go over here now we're creating some some live sci-fi real easy real easy guys what about if we change this to <coughs> I think difference looks cool You know, I can't believe, I really can't believe this technology we got here. It's just mind-blowing. We're in the future, everybody. It's just pure magic. It's fresh boolean pie. Why doesn't it let me... Let's see what's the error, error here. Modifier is disabled. Skipping apply. Well, there we go. <clears throat> oh, geez. You got some customers from Tennessee? Yeah, um... Yeah, man, people, southern people are awesome, you know, they got the best barbecue, they got one of the best accents in the world, I mean, not everybody can, I mean, you know you got a good accent when people are trying to imitate it, I guess. Do people try to imitate the American accent? I don't. I don't know. I, to me, I feel like the American accent is kind of boring. It kind of sounds like we're all slow and dumb and we have no culture. Um, I like accents where it sounds like you, you've been through some shit. You sound like you got some culture. You got some, you know, there's there's cool things around. Americans sound like they have no clue about anything in the world. Um, I think that's what our accent sounds like. <clears throat> you met an actor from Game of Thrones. Cool. Was it fun? Did you did you say hi? sci-fi diaper Could tell I was trying to figure things out. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that must be a weird feeling for them to be like, this person knows. They know my secret. Did he wink at you? Did he tip his his hat to you? Wait. Let me see. Right, good. Good. Sculpt. Can we sculpt this? 
Can we sculpt it? Can we sculpt it? Well, there's a lot of new sculpting tools here. Uh, not sure what I'm doing. <clears throat> oh, shit. What? <coughs> what the hell? Every time I undo it, it does that. Listen to everything, Skywad. Everything. All of the jobs. Um, eh, usually calm, though. Did you use subs on those tires? Like subsurface? No. No subsurface. Um, and Vicky got the spaceship. Nice. How's it going so far? Have you uh, started it? Slot black. <clears throat> I don't have a black material, damn it. Over here, like this, and then like that, and then like. We should probably put those red and white marks on there. That would be easy. Low hanging, low hanging fruit is what they call it. some edges nope too much one two three Do I have a red? Do we have a red anywhere? No red.
just go all the way across? I don't know. I'm not sure. Garbage trucks are more complicated than I thought. There's so much random stuff everywhere. <coughs> Little doodads. I'm getting kind of hungry, um, but I think we made a little bit of good progress on here. I still don't know what these um, Tupperware, sci-fi Tupperwares are, but uh, wow, okay, we're getting into it, we're getting into this model, probably farther than I, I thought we would go, but anyway, thank you, whoa, it's already 1230, thank you for joining in, guys. Have a good day. I hope you get some blending in for yourselves. Uh, right. What's going on? 
Did someone know where I could find the 2.8 version of Quick Pipe? Yes, you can find it. Um, well, I kind of modified it to work with 2.8, but it's still all credit goes to Jeremy. He's the one that created the whole thing. And uh, but it's it's in um, my heavy poly config now for 2.8. So if you search heavy poly 2.8 install, you'll find it. Okay. And yeah, Trin, there will be more streams. I, I usually try to do it at 11 a.m., but not every day because I'm a bum. But anyway, see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.